something hits the Earth really hard, takes that much material out into an orbit around the planet, and eventually it correlates and, and sort of forms the moon as it is, but that impact into Earth would have left it spinning at a high rate such that it needed another impact from exactly the right direction and exactly the right speed hitting the Earth at exactly the right point to slow it down to our current rotational speed and and dynamic. It's what they call the double big whack theory. Two big whacks into the earth is, is how they approximate, and billions of years ago, of course, that this somehow happened. And it's not a very strong, like people are like, eh, the probability is super, super low for that possibility to happen. There's, they don't really know this. The, most of the people that dig into the moon get to the point where like just scratching the head going, we don't really know how it got here. But if you were to design a system to support life, if you were to create an environment to support life, then it's pretty perfect. It doesn't get any more perfect almost like we need the moon you felt it your whole life that something was missing you were right